Hey guys, you're watching you one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Useful Redstone, the series where I run through useful ways to use up that redstone that you guys collect in your minds and never use. Don't tell me you don't do it. <laughs> so, uh, I got a suggestion from a subscriber, um, must have been a week or two ago now, about a player detection um, to let me know when a so a player comes into my house, uh, an alarm system, a burglar alarm. So uh, I had a player and I came up with a very, very simple, easy to follow design here. So what we can do is, this is the front door to your house. And you're inside your house, you're down in your base. They press the button. And we've got alarms going off. And you can have these note blocks far enough away that the person can't hear the alarm going off. And you can be down in your basement in your storage room and you can turn the alarm off. And that will reset the alarm again, ready for them to uh, set it off again. And you can come up and you can kill them or you can see who's there. It's it's a sneaky way because if you have these snow blocks far enough away, they won't even know that you're about. So you can sneak up on them. So uh, I've got the pressure plate version of it here. It's exactly the same. We just set up a pressure plate instead of a button. And we step over the pressure plate. The alarm goes off. And then we can push the button and it stops it. So uh, let's go through and build it very, very quickly. And then I can show you some different ways of what you could use this for. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is build the clock that we did last episode. The five tick clock. So we're going to put a block down, a torch, piece of redstone, block, torch, piece of redstone, block, torch, redstone, block, torch, redstone, block, torch, Redstone, so you're going to need five blocks and five redstone torches with redstone in between. And uh, you'll see it's being turned on and off, the redstone is flashing. Uh, it's the easiest clock to make uh, because it requires the least resources and it's very easy design to be able to remember. But what we want to do is we want to actually be able to turn this on and off. And as we learned last episode, we could do this with the lever. We turn the power on and now the torch can't turn this redstone off because there's power coming from the lever um, but we're using pressure plates and buttons so what we're going to do is we're going to choose it a different way we're going to piece of, put a piece of redstone torch down by a block dig down one, place a torch there place a sticky piston and put a block over the torch so now this torch is powering the, powering the block uh, which is uh, powering the redstone which has now frozen the torch uh, and same applies here, we can turn the torch on and off to move this piston and the clock can start and stop so we're going to hook this up to a um, pressure plate here for now so let's get a pressure plate now when we step on this pressure plate the alarm goes off but when we step off it it turns off again. We don't want that. We want the alarm to stay on until the owner of the house turns it off. So to do that, we're going to put another torch down here and loop this round back into the piston. So now once we step on the pressure plate, the piston is pushed forward. This torch powers the block when the block's there, um, which goes around and powers the piston. And the piston can't be retracted back because it's constantly being powered by it. So the way we're going to have to turn this off is by making this torch turn off, which is very, very easy to do. If we bring some redstone going into the block below the torch, and we hook it up to a button. If we push the button, it'll temporarily turn that torch off, which will give it enough time for the redstone to unpower the piston uh, to bring it back again. So... There we go, and now the clock's off again, so we can turn it on. And then we can turn it off again. And we could take this away if we wanted, and we could hook it up to a button, how we did with the door. Uh, we had our iron door here, didn't we? On the last one. Like that. And now the door opens, it sets the alarm off. And then we can reset it. But we want the... It to make a sound or you can hook up to whatever you want but for now we're going to just do a some note blocks oops like that so uh, if we hook this up note block here we'll have that on the normal beat we'll have another one here hooked up to a slightly higher beat and let's have one here as well 
hooked up to an even higher one. Skip the night, get some daylight on this situation. Okay, bed. There we go. So now we can try this. We can hear the alarm go off. Boop. Okay, and you put these note blocks right where you can hear them, right where you're going to be in your house at all times. But I think another cool way to be able to use this is if we hooked it up to a dispenser. So if we get a dispenser and we get a few potions of harming, splash potions of harming, which are these ones. Now we could hook it up to the clock if you wanted it to constantly fire potions of harming, but it's a bit wasteful. I would hook it up to this line here. So uh, let's have it so it would fire when they came through the door. Like that. We'll turn it off. Now, when we go through the door... Boop, pow! Bang, we're hit by a harming potion. We would have lost health and uh, it would have scared them away. Now, you can put delays on here, obviously, if it was too quick. Okay, so yeah, you can set up to a dispenser and you could fire whatever you wanted at them. Arrows, potions, anything like that. You could have a few of them set up uh, in your house. Um, as long as you had a way how to turn it off. And it's very easy to turn it off. I'm going to leave it up to you to be able to turn your dispensers on and off. It'll give you a little challenge for this episode. But yeah, I think it's a really cool little simple player detector system uh, with a note block burglar alarm system that can be toggled on and off. Uh, you'll be able to know where the on off switch is so when you come in the house for it to turn on, you can have the button hidden behind a bookshelf or something like that to turn it off and you're fine. But you know that when a friend comes in, they're not going to know where this toggle off is so it's going to be uh, easy to be able to know when someone's in your house. And it could easy, easily be used to find out if anybody's been in your house in the day. Because you could be out caving, you could come back into your house, and you could hear a light go, uh, uh, this noise going off. Or you could hook it up to a redstone lamp. And once, you're, once you come inside, the redstone lamp is lit up, you know someone's been in your house. Um, so that's another way that you could do it as well. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you're awesome. Subscribe as well. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!